So yesterday I posted a video where I said that Barcelona could go trophyless if they don't fix their problems, if they don't sign players or sell players. And I've seen a lot of comments speak about, oh, I lost my loyalty to Barcelona, I just want to be out of supporting Barcelona, I don't understand football, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something, my friend. My loyalty for Barcelona is, is not going anywhere. I'll be supporting this team no matter what. I just tell the truth. Am I tired? Yes. But at the end of the day, once the game of Barcelona starts, I'm supporting them like nothing is happening. Bro, my mind will be focused on Barcelona winning. That's it. I don't care who's playing, what they are playing, who's the coach. I don't care as long as they win. So I'm supporting Barcelona to win. And the problem with Barcelona and also lots of Barcelona fans is that they get emotionally attached to coaches, to players, which is a bad thing. We need to move on. We need to focus on winning. Whoever wins this game, we should get emotionally attached to him. Yes, not a player that just played a lot of games for us. Or he did one good thing once in like 10 years. For example, Sergi Roberto. He should have left the club years ago. Why the f*** is he just living right now? Is he a legend? I don't count him as a legend for Barcelona. He was average player as Max. The only good thing he did is that goal against PSG. That's it. Should I lie I say that he is one of the best players in the world just because he plays in my team? That doesn't make any sense. He should have left years ago. Not kept in the club for this long. Again, Ter Stegen. I'm sorry. Ter Stegen, I don't find him as a good goalkeeper. And people saying in the comments yesterday that what's your problem with Ter Stegen? He did this to us in 2022 and 2023. He did this to us in 2017. Well, now he's not doing nothing for us. And we should care about the present and we shouldn't be attached to the past. Last season, he wasn't good. And probably this season, he won't be good. What is he still doing in our club? We need to get goalkeeper that will save us, not just because he did something good to us back in the day. Same situation again with Lewandowski. Brothers talking about Lewandowski had a great season in 2023 when we won La Liga. He had a great season. Unbelievable season. He is 36 years old. He's not the same. If Cristiano Ronaldo himself, the greatest goal scorer of all time, once he hit 36, he hasn't been the same. It's normal. It happens to everyone. It's aging. It has nothing to do with him being good or being bad. So, yes, we should understand this. The man is 36 years old. He's not the same. We shouldn't be attached to a season that was two years ago. He's not the Lewandowski who was playing at Bayern. He's not the Lewandowski that will come back to his old form because we signed with Hansi Flick. No, no, it won't happen. Brother, he is old. A 36 years old player shouldn't be our main striker. And the problem with this one, Lewandowski situation, he's the second highest paid player in La Liga. Do you think a mother who gets paid this much money will leave Barcelona? No, he won't leave Barcelona. He wants to get paid every penny. He don't give a about leaving. Even if Barcelona wants to sell him and he doesn't want to go, then yeah, because no team no other team in this world will pay a 36 years old Lewandowski the amount of money we are paying him right now. No team. So he isn't stupid. He will he understand this. But us, we give contracts to players that don't make any sense. For example, the day we signed Lewandowski, why are we giving him a contract where his salary goes up year after year? That doesn't make any sense again. Because the man was like, what, 33, 34 years old? That sounds right to you. You can't argue with me. Because what I'm telling you, it's the truth. And you can deny it. And you can say, no, what I'm saying is not true. Tell me what I'm saying is wrong. Is Ter Stegen good? No. He is bad. Is Lewandowski good? No. He is in a decline. Every season he's scoring less and less goals. Is signing Dani Olmo a good idea? No. But you have hope in the board, the management, the conflict. Until it's too late. Then, yeah. Same situation with Vitor Roque. We signed the man for 40 million. We said in the media that, oh, Xavi wanted him. Laporta wanted him. Players wanted to play with him. Blah, 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 blah. And after that, we didn't play him a single game. Xavi said he doesn't match our tactics or I don't know. Laporta and they were trying to sell him and push him to go out of the club. Lies. And that's what's basically happening with Dani Olmo. Before it even happens, I'm telling you what the f*** will happen. So Dani Olmo signed for 60 million. They could just use his signing to prove that he can sign a player and can keep his position as our sporting director. And that's it. Am I lying? Do we need Dani Olmo? No. But you have faith? Bro, are we using our f***ing brain in here? Laporta, Deco, everyone, they keep lying. So we're gonna believe him when they say that they signed Dani Olmo because they know what they are doing. They don't know what the f*** they are doing. Dani Olmo, good player. I'm not talking about Dani Olmo. I don't give a f*** about Dani Olmo. I wish him all the best in his career. But I don't care about signing a player in a position that we already have a lot of players in there. So yeah, what I'm saying is wrong.
Damian Dunn and Olmo wasn't a good idea. What else? We need to sign a defensive midfielder. What am I saying is wrong? We're gonna get cooked in the counter attack every game. And that's what basically was happening last season. Every game we were up 2-0 and they concede 3 goals, 4 goals. Just because why we don't have a defensive midfielder? We can't play a De Jong in there. I don't understand if Flick understand this or not. I'm not a better coach as Flick. I know this. I'm not even a f***ing coach. I don't know shit. I'm just saying an opinion. I'm just saying something that comes to my f***ing mind. It sounds true to me because do you understand how dumb it sounds when you say that De Jong should play as a defensive midfielder? Xavi tried it, it didn't work out. So what? Saying that Barcelona will go trophy this season. Talking about this, we have the same team as last season. We only changed the coach, Hansi Flick. Great coach. I'm so happy about him. I'm actually blessed to say that my team have a coach, a great coach like Hansi Flick. We can all agree with this. Maybe it will work out good with him in Barcelona or maybe not. Anything can happen. But for now, I respect Hansi Flick. But he can change Barcelona by himself. And also we signed Dani Olmo. That's it. Do you think that's a big change that will change us from going trophies next season? That's basically same team. Just with a new coach and a new player in a position that we already have a lot of players in. Do you think that's a change that will make us go from a trophy this season to win probably every trophy. I'm talking logic in here. Logically, logically, what I'm looking at in here, that won't change nothing next season. We don't have a defensive midfielder. Our striker is old. Our goalkeeper is bad. Yes, we have a great coach and now everything will change. If the problem is in the players, if the problem is in the team, then no coach will fix it. So, please tell me, what I'm saying is wrong. Do I hope Barca win every trophy next year? Yeah, that's what I want. That's the goal. That's what I'm talking this much. All I'm saying in here is things that need to be changed or fixed so we can win every trophy next year. Because at the end of the next season, I won't accept to go trophies again. No, I don't care. And the thing that makes me done with some of these fans, Barca fans, when they start speaking about bringing back Messi. Messi is the greatest player of all time. What he did with Barcelona, no one will ever do with another team, let alone Barcelona. And we were lucky to have a player like him. And we should have treated him better. Did I want him to stay forever in my team? Absolutely. He's the greatest player of all time. Who the f*** doesn't want him to stay in his team forever? But at the same time, if Messi himself moved on, we should move on. Let brother enjoy his life. We can't put so much pressure on this man after what we've been to from 2015 with Barcelona. Brother deserves a rest. And for you to say that, oh, we should bring him back, man, shut the f up. You need to move on. We can't be stuck with like Messi or rumors about signing Neymar again. You all remember when we didn't uh, get Nico Williams and what Barca fans said again? Bring back Neymar one more time. Y'all are stupid, you know this. Move on, move on. Yes, players did good for us back in the day, but we need to move on. We need to start thinking about Barcelona, not about players. I want to talk about something else. And for people saying that Barcelona is rebuilding. A rebuild, you start from nothing to something to everything, right? We started from nothing. I expected that. Normal. The season before last season, we won La Liga. That's something. Last season, we almost got everything. But who stopped us? Exactly. Us. Craig said this one time. The only team that's capable of stopping Barcelona is Barcelona themselves. That's that's what's basically happening. We've gone from nothing to something to almost everything. Last season we almost got to fucking Champions League. Who stopped us? Us. Last season we almost won La Liga. Who stopped us? Us. We were winning both Classicos. We were winning against Girona. We were winning against a lot of teams, but end up losing. Some dumb decisions cost us everything. Right now, right now. What I'm saying is right now, right now. We are back to nothing. And we will go, hopefully, for something. And after that, when we get closer to everything, it's us that will stop us from winning everything. We need a good team. We need to bring back old Barcelona. We need to move on from some players. We need to sell a lot of players. We need to buy new players. And we need to stop getting emotionally attached to players. We should turn stupid just so we can feel better about ourselves. We need to be real. You understand this? Be real, be real. Even for Barcelona, they need to be real with themselves. Understand that they are not a good team today. And they can't compete with teams like Bayern, City, Real Madrid for big trophies. What I'm saying is wrong. Have you seen their teams? And have you seen our team? Yeah, look, look, Visca Barca, motherfuckers. Visca, I'm here, I'm here forever. So shut the f up, Visca Barca.